Hello students, welcome back to my channel Commerce Tute, your flight to success and yes students, today we are going to continue with question number 1 of 11th Secretarial Practice, chapter number 1, Secretary. Okay, we have in last video mein, uh, question number 1, A, B, C, D or E uh, solve tha. In this video, definitely children, we are going to continue with F, G, H and I. Okay. So, before going ahead students, new people to my channel, kindly like, subscribe and share so that you will get all this, you know, uh, valuable and useful videos and click on the bell icon for new video updates and notifications. On that beautiful note children, let's get started. Okay, question number 1, F, jo hai, wo hai complete the sentence. They are only 3 in number, but yes, very, very important students. So, the first one is, uh, in Latin language, a confidential writer was called as dash. Definitely, you can see the answer on the screen. The correct answer is secretarius. Yes, okay. Then, second, the oldest type of secretary is definitely personal secretary. Or we have this discussion that even you know, in the oldest uh, times also, people used to have this personal secretaries who were busy in their life. Mein, they definitely had personal secretaries. Okay? So, that's why the oldest type of secretary is personal secretary. Okay? Then, the third one is a company secretary must be a member of DASH. Definitely, the correct answer is you can see on the screen. That's Institute of Company Secretaries of India. That is ICSI. Uh, par main zarur batana chahungi ki aap ICSI in full form likna because I know there are some students who will definitely go for a short form but I always believe that it is always better again that you write the full form so that uh, even for full you know long term or short form ya full form jab puchte hai tabhi bhi aapko ye yaad reh sakta hai so that was a short tip on this. Let's go to the next G part of it and that is select the correct options from the bracket children it is not form the bracket let's go to the first one uh, because this is the first chapter and this is the first exercise I'm solving with you so I will tell you this that this question is the answers you can see here I am keeping the cursor the answers are already given in the bracket children you have to fix it wherever they are applicable okay uh, question number 1 G group uh, is divided into two definitely. One is group A and the second one is group B. So, wherever there is a blank you have to answer. You have to write the answer and I have already written for you but still we discuss karenge. Group B mein pehla wala diya hai that is personal secretary. Definitely it is appointed by busy individual. Okay, we have to pick it from the bracket and appointed by busy individuals. You have to write it here. We will make it busy individuals. Okay. And then the second one is Secretary of Government Department. Yes, the answer is IAS. And even you can write the full form here. Okay, I will write the full form also here. And I hope you will repeat with me students. The full form of IAS is Indian Administrative Administrative services okay so this is how you are supposed to write so the correct answer is ias that is indian administrative services okay i'll just enlarge it so that it fixes in a very systematic manner okay then the third one is icsi that is institute of uh, company secretaries of india icsi ka full form maine abhi aapko bataya so, par hoga, yes, it is applicable for company secretary. So, the correct answer is company secretary. Then, let's go to the fourth point quickly. Group B mein diya hai scribe. Yes, uh, it's Roman Empire. So, this is how uh, they will ask you questions and you have to fill the blank by choosing it from the bracket given below. The answers will be provided in the brackets. Okay. Now let's go to the answer in one sentences. I have just shown you in the arrow form students where I have written the first one and where I have written the second form. Uh, second one. So I will read out for you. Question number one H hai. Answer in one sentence. Students basically you have to write the entire statement. Yaha par maine likha hai statement ke se. I will tell you how you are supposed to write. I have 
basically focused on the answers but yes i will tell you how to write the answers also how you can grab those one full marks okay first one is who can appoint a personal secretary definitely busy individuals such as doctors lawyers okay and etc koi bhi professional koi bhi insaan jo busy rehta hai jisko apna jo kaam hai dusro ko you know dena padta hai you can say so these people can go for a personal secretary so you can say a busy individuals such as doctors lawyers etc can appoint a personal secretary this is how you are supposed to write students theek okay? hai and then the second one is which company should appoint a full time company secretary which company you can say every listed company and all other companies having it's not okay one minute it's paid up okay paid up capital of 5 crores or more should appoint a full time company secretary theek hai and definitely uh, every listed company matlab wo aata hai joint stock company mein you can also say joint stock company uh, where or every listed company or any other company having paid up capital of 5 crore or more should appoint a full time company secretary theek hai third is a cultural club is an example of which type of organization yes you can say the correct answer is non profit association to aap kaise likhoge a cultural club is an example of non profit association so this is how you are supposed to write the answer fourth one the knowledge of which act is must for secretary of cooperative societies the correct answer is cooperative societies act but how you are supposed to write uh, the com- you can say secretary of cooperative society should have knowledge of companies uh, sorry cooperative societies act this is how you can frame the answer and make the entire one mark of yours okay and then let's go to the uh, yeah e i part of it correct the underlined word and rewrite the following sentences students listen the, to the question clearly जहां पर भी आपको रीराइट बोला गया है आपको पूरी तरीके से उसको लिखना है यू हैव टू राइट द एंटायर थिंग एंड विच एवर वर्ड और टर्म हैज बीन अंडरलाइन उसको निकाल के करेक्ट आंसर आपको वहां पर फिक्स करना है ठीक है सो लेट मी फर्स्ट रीड द आई पार्ट ऑफ इट आई मुस ए क्वेश्चन करेक्ट द अंडरलाइन वर्ड एंड री राइट द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेज ओके फर्स्ट वन है पर्सनल सेक्रेटरी इज अपॉइंटेड बाय अ जॉइंट स्टॉक कंपनी विच इज अज नो है ना the correct answer is busy individuals so you can write again you have to rewrite the entire statement even in examination personal secretary is appointed by busy individuals theek okay? hai and then next is second one busy individuals appoint company secretary now students you can see unhone uh, you know maybe answers are little different lekin ek dusre ka hi you know jo milta julta question hi pucha hai first one's answer was busy individuals that's what they have started you know they have framed in such a way like you know busy individuals appoint company secretary jo bilkul galat hai busy individuals appoint personal secretary it is not company secretary so you will rewrite it again that busy individuals appoint personal secretary theek hai and then let's go to the third one secretary of government department must be a member of icsi which is A, a wrong one secretary of a government department must be a member of indian administrative services yes students you have heard it right it is i a s theek hai please uh, if they have given in the short form okay you can write i a s here but it is always better ki in the bracket aap likho or uh, you can write in the bracket i'll just show you how you are supposed to write if you want to write in the short form you can write i a i'm sorry one minute yeah i a yes and in the bracket you can write indian administrative services so agar aap aisa likhoge so i think uh, it will be better for your understanding also okay so it will look good also that's what really matters so the right answer is ias theek okay? hai then let's go to the fourth one the term chitness was used in roman empire no it's wrong the term chitness was used in the ancient indian history 
so this is how you are supposed to write the you know rewrite the sentences to uh, grab those marks theek hai students i would like to tell you that all this exercise question number 1 a b c d e f g h i all these exercises are exercises are very very important because as i have told you when i was talking about the subjects for you or maine ye bhi bola tha ki 80 marks ka aapka paper hoga aur 20 marks ka internal exam hoga to ye this type of सब क्वेश्चंस जो भी हम कर रहे हैं ये भी आपको इंटरनल एग्जाम में पूछा जा सकता है विच वी विल यू नो टेल यू यू नो व्हेन वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दोज इंटरनल एग्जाम्स तो उसमें ये पूछा जाता है सो इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर दैट यू सॉल्व एंड अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सब क्वेश्चन सो दैट इट विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू टू थिंक इन अ डिफरेंट वे वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड है ना आंसर सेम रहते हैं लेकिन तरीका जो है क्वेश्चन पूछने का वो डिफर हो जाता है एंड नाउ द रीसेंट अपडेट व्हाट हैज कम ऑन द सब्जेक्ट इज यू नो यू नॉट ओनली द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर देयर इन द टेक्स्ट बुक कैन बी आस्ड इन द एग्जाम यू कैन फ्रेम योर ओन क्वेश्चंस एंड पुट इन द एग्जाम आल्सो अगर ऐसा होता है तो देन यू शुड नो इच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट इन डिटेल एंड विथ क्लैरिटी है ना सो दैट्स इट चिल्ड्रन इन दिस वीडियो आई होप दिस वीडियो विल बी यू नो विल बी वेरी यूजफुल टू यू टू रिवाइज एंड गो थ्रू द sub questions on that note children i'll conclude the video here or oh, if you found the video useful definitely like subscribe and share and soon i will be coming up with the next video till then thank you so much students thank you